And Peter's ready for another day. What's up guys, we're back. And our base took quite a beating last time. We're kind of falling apart here. So I want to go ahead and revamp the base. I think before we move it somewhere else, I, I think I want to keep it here and just fortify this a little more. Uh, because I, I think I think aluminum is just like further down underground. So if we go down there, get it, come back up, build our supplies up here. I feel like that's that's still a worthy thing. I don't think we need to like move yet. So let's go ahead and I guess repair this base, or at least just like redo it. I kind of want to make the entrance a little bigger. Oops, I don't want to flood in here. But yeah, I want to make the entrance a little bit bigger and do something interesting with it. I'm not sure. Definitely more of these guns. Yeah, let's make like two more of these guns while we're at it. I like these basic guns. We could probably put them like on the ceiling, so we'll have like eight guns all together. Where the heck are these guys at? There they are. Yeah, we'll make like two more of those. Put them up on there. Um, yeah, gotta gotta rework this whole place. And this is quite the ugly place, but it's a total bunker. It's pretty much like like a panic room. So uh, I'm just gonna put a few of these supports. We don't need these supports here, but I think it's just gonna make it look a little fancier. I don't know, add a little bit of style to this. I mean, I guess it's just, it's still just a starter base. So we can't really, uh, I don't know, we can't really get that much stuff. But hopefully once we get this place pretty well secured and figured out with the whole strategy, then uh, I think, I think then we can go ahead and build fancier bases later on with new materials. But for now, we'll just kind of go like this. We could always reuse these girders for something uh, that we'll actually need. Maybe when we get to a sky island or something like that. Then we can, uh, we can use these supports for that, we can just take them out of here. But alright, so it seems like our base is together. There should be enough DPS for the nights that are to come. Uh, and it's a little too late to really go down for aluminum, so I guess I'm just gonna do some gathering on the surface and wait for the night. Hopefully this, this little strategy, my idea is like, you know, they'll, they'll kind of come through here, still won't be able to shoot us, then once they drop through here, everything's just gonna like light them up, like from right to this, uh, this spot here. All these guns should be shooting at the same target. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work, because I knew they were like outranging us last time. So alright, probably see you guys at nighttime. And I made some more guns, got some more iron, and we're gonna have to run back to base real quick now. We're starting to run out of daylight. Oh crap. Yeah, really don't want to get caught at night. <laughs> we might get caught here. Oh my gosh, it's starting to get dark now. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Don't fall in that hole. Alright, here we go. We're, we're going back to base. We shouldn't be too far away. Come on, any any resources? I'm thinking I'm thinking really building a base now underground is not good because a lot of these blue flowers where we get where we get our health potions from, all these flowers grow on the surface. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, are we gonna make it in time? Oh the piranha. Piranha wants a piece. I think they already hate us anyway, but alright, good, we made it back to base. Uh, oh my gosh, run down here. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Alright, let's see how these guys can put up with us. Uh, oh yeah, we got 37 iron. Wow, that's really good. We got we got a lot of that fast. I didn't realize I mined that much. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, so we can just hide down here. Oh, there we go. What guns are shooting? Oh, all these are shooting up here. Oh yeah, this is working exactly as I imagined. Oh, we could even use a shotgun if we want. Looks like that one's taking some damage. Oh, this is... Oh yeah, these guys still got some range. That's not bad, though. Alright, let's repair this guy. Oh, crap! Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Okay, hang on. Alright, so we have to, like... So I'm not, too, I'm not too sure about these guns right here. We might have to put these guns a little further back. Actually, yeah, these, these don't really belong here. Yeah, so let's move them, like, let's move them back over here or something. Maybe, like... I don't know. I, I guess maybe, like, some other time. Oh, crap. Yeah. Still some damage coming through. I think we can build some, uh... Some defensive barriers. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, once we get the aluminum, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Yeah, I still need to stand here and repair. Kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, this angle. They can still catch us on this angle. So we'll, we'll have to redesign the front a little bit more, but this isn't so bad. The base has been updated, and it's time to make some more enemies. So we're going to go down here and take out whoever's barking down here. We're going to go look for some aluminum. I suppose. Oh my goodness. Actually, we should probably find a, an easier way down than just taking straight down. Because, uh, oh yeah, do we have some platforms? I think we have some wooden platforms. Yeah, I made 15 of those. So we can go ahead and use those to, uh, to navigate and jump around underground easier than just having to place dirt everywhere. They help out a lot. So I guess... Oh, we killed that fish too. Okay. <laughs> There's another enemy. Another enemy. Okay, so we gotta watch out for watery places. Because those fish are gonna hate us now too. This looks like a good start, I guess. We can just kind of... Wow, there's like, yeah. Oh, it's it's very wet down here. We might just have to go straight down. I don't know. Now let's just let's just try to follow the natural way of things. Oh, this is good. Here we go. This is good. Yes, yeah, so we'll follow this natural way down. 
Oh, flooded, of course. Thank goodness for these lit up flowers, though. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. No, this is not a good idea. There's too much water here. Too much water, and there's not really a way to drain it. We gotta go. Oh, one of these guys. Alright, we're gonna make a new enemy right now. Boom. Did he drop anything? Oh, we actually got something from that. Uh, I'll check it later. I think there's another one right here. It's coming up around the corner. Alright, so underground life. This is our first, this is actually, yeah, our first underground adventure. In dig or die. Go figure. <laughs> we should have been, like, digging probably a while ago. Is there any other easier way to get down? Oh, what's this? Oh, is this the mountain? We still can't dig into this, but we found the mountain area. Wow, it goes deep. Okay, so I think I found the way down. Let me just take out some more of these guys here. Because we could use their uh, drops, I think, to make some armor for Pete. For Peter, there we go. We got it. We got another drop. How many do we have now? Where is it at? I can't see. Oh, we got three. I think I think that's enough to make the armor, actually. So when we get back to base, that'd be awesome. I tried digging down this way. That was like a fail. Because it's just like, it's way, way too deep, way too drowny. All right, let's go this way. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I found like a little tunnel this way. Grab, grab some of that coral. And here we go. So if we dig down here... There we go, we can get some breath, maybe. <laughs> get some breath right here. Alright, and just gotta keep our eyes open for that titanium. It looks like, it looks like little, oh gosh, air bubbles. See, and we can't get like an air bubble source like this. Uh, really? Yeah, because the pressure, oh we can! Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, because I know there's like, this water pressure pushes the water up into crevices. It's a little trickier. Ew. What is that? Alright, we got another one of these little spike guys, but luckily we do have- Oh, there we go! We found it! We found like a natural breathing area. This might be cool for a little base. Now nah, our base has got to be serious now. We can't mess around with like... Yeah, with just like half- half bases. We have to go like all out full bases. Because now we have- we just made two new enemies on our adventures just now, so... I think this is coal, right? Looks like coal. Yeah, we got some coal now. I think we could use this to make like a machine gun or something like that. So that's a good find, but I think- yeah. Titanium maybe further down. Yeah. Hmm. We should probably head back to base. At least we found a good way down, so we don't have to mess about in the morning for that kind of uh, search. And this is actually a really good adventure, so I'm leaving behind these little lights along our way as breadcrumbs, so we know how to get back to our, uh, back to our, I guess, route to underground, because I want to be able to have the same route. Be nice so we don't have to like, yeah, like I was saying, wander and guess and guesswork every time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, here we go. And then we're gonna have armor and all this great stuff. Alright, so we can see that lamp right there. And probably one more light, like right about here. I think it should be obvious enough. Oh, we're killing like tons of these things. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be good for. We'll put this one like right here. And okay. And I think this is the way back to home right here. Oops. Oops, this guy's gonna kill us. <laughs> I gotta I get him. I gotta get him. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe an upgrading weapon would be a good idea. We'll see. We'll see. But alright, at least we found our way down to the aluminum, hopefully. I'm assuming it's underground. That'd be funny if it's like on a sky island or some nonsense like that. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. It's like, uh, okay. But I think, oh, this is a good time for a platform. We can put a platform, like, right there. So I jump on that. Bada boom. I think we go this way. Is it this way? Hmm. And it wasn't that way. This is the way to the surface. Okay, so we had to go a little bit to the west. And there we go. And then one last final light right here so we know this is the way to the underground that we're going to be using. At least for now. I don't know if we're going to need to go underground in the, uh, what do you call it? The red, red dirt district <laughs> or not. But this works for now. Okay, so home sweet home. Actually, this is not a sweet home. This is, uh, uh, I guess a functional home for now. Man, it'd be cool if we could make, like, furniture in this game, but, oh, I guess we can't really do... That much crafting. The only thing we can really craft right now is just like armor. And what kind of benefit does that give us? It gives us reduces damage by two? Yeah, let's do it. Definitely. So how do I put it on? I just keep it on my hotbar? I think so. I think it's probably how it works. Probably how like most of the things here work anyway. So yeah, there we go. Yeah. So that's gonna help us stay alive for sure. Definitely big upgrade. Alright, now now let's let's see the madness that's about to come here. Got the shotgun ready. Hopefully our new design's gonna keep him from shooting at us too soon. And oh, that's pretty. That was pretty epic. Yeah. All right. All right. Just gotta keep repairing. Uh huh. Yeah, these little spike creatures are coming in here now. Spike creatures and oh, I guess fish. But uh, that's right. Yeah, we the fish can't swim here. Yeah, yeah. So we're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that guy's like stuck up there. That's good. I don't know why he's pacing around. 
Not gonna complain about that. This gun's really not doing anything. I'm just gonna remove this gun again. I thought it might have a chance to shoot guys down here, but it's not really getting around to it. But okay. So we got we got a pretty winning. <laughs> Look at these guys piling in from the top there. I wonder if we get on like a sky island, if they're still gonna bother us up there, like all the land creatures. Maybe only flying creatures would bother us if we build a, a base on the uh, sky island. I don't know. Oh, that really hurt that time. All right, but we got this. Oh gosh, it's still the same night, same fight. I'm realizing these guys are starting to dig down below. You see that right there? They're, they're like shooting away. They're, they're shooting a bunch of stuff because I think I don't think the ground creatures can really get in through here or something. So they're digging from underground. That's epic. Oh my gosh, don't lose the turret. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, I realized I didn't tell you guys the objective of this game. The objective is to build a rocket ship and to take off and fly away. <laughs> so that's gonna be our mission in the end is to build a ship. And Hellcat, here we go. Night is, night is done. Night is over. And, okay, cool. So, I don't know, like, where we're gonna build our rocket ship at, but I think, I feel like it's still way, ways away. Way, ways away. These guys are still digging down here to ruin the, the, all the terrain. Oh, crap! Oh, no, no flooding, no! I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I forgot to put, like, a little awning. Or whatever the heck you call those things. There you go, there you go. Oh, crap. It's already flooded. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll dry up and go away. All right, anyway, it's, it's daytime. Come on, come on, uh, Patrick or Peter. Peter, come on. Let's get to work. What were we doing? Oh, yeah, looking for aluminum. All right, let's do this thing. Let's get the aluminum. Let's follow the lit trail. Actually, let's take care of these guys so they stop destroying our underground. What do they do down here? Oh, crap, man. We need some bombs or something we can throw in here. Uh, okay, so they're just they're just ruining our undergrounds. Kind of makes me not want to build a base underground now. I think you're going to do stuff like this. I don't know. But all right, we got all right. We got bigger things to do. So let's go this way and see if we can find anything deep under. And of course, it's raining again, but that's okay, cause we have our way planned from the last time. Yes, just follow the lights so I don't have to make the mistakes and all this stuff. Okay, so here we go, deep underground. I think I think our little breathy hole. Yes, our breathing hole is still here. This is epic. Oh, I love this. I, I, I totally. This is great. Okay, so we got this. Okay, now we can breathe. Peter's happy. He's like, this, my conscience is making me do crazy things lately. Okay, so we're going this way. <laughs> um, his conscience. That's a terrible uh, fate for him. Okay, so let's kind of shoot this way. Actually, I just realized we probably could have upgraded our gun, too. Crap, is this a smart idea going down there? Is there an easier way to go, like over this way? Uh, oh, we can get some more of that armor. Oh, this looks... Wait, there's something lit over here. Did we put a lamp over here? No, we're not yet. Okay, this is unexplored territory. A little bit confusing. I guess we could say we went down this hole. All right, and we're gonna follow it down this way or something. Let's put some lights as we go too. I don't want to forget where we're going, <laughs> right? Because that'd be a nightmare if we got stuck down here. And I guess we'll shoot to see. I wonder if we're gonna uncover any more enemies. I, I hope not. I hope not. Because then, um, I don't know. We we need to get like titanium so we get or not titanium, the uh, aluminum so we can get the uh, other recipes for other building materials, concrete, new weapons. I can imagine. I think each one of those builders was for like new uh, weapons or designs. There's a little bit of coal right there. This seems like a fairly good way to go. Oh man! Oh, it looks like we got to the stone level. Look at the background; it's all stone. This kind of reminds me of Terraria now. Okay, so we got to the stone level. I'm assuming. Oh, there it is! There it is, right there, right off the bat. Stone level. That's the key. Okay, we can mine this stuff, right? Come on, get out of my way. Come on, stones, stones now. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna get like a little handful of this stuff. Yes. And we're going straight to the surface. Big score. And it actually looks like there's new enemies down here. I think I killed a hellhound or something that looked like, like an evil, evil creature. <laughs> this has drained this area. Oh, I like this level. Yeah, I think I think this is this is not a normal dog. No, he's got like spikes on him or something. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, so he's gonna be attacking us now on the surface. This is getting pretty interesting now. I really like this level. I like the stony background. Oh crap! How are we gonna get out of here? Well, I guess I'll, I'll figure. I got I gotta do like the ultimate shotgun jump. There we go. Okay, so I guess we'll put a light. I guess it's kind of obvious this is where we came. Oh, these guys are everywhere. These guys are everywhere. We'll be all right. Yeah. Oh crap! Which way? This way? I think it's this way. All right. We have a pretty nice way down. I, I lit the whole area up. It's easy to find 
uh, our way to get back to the stone layer safely without having to, I guess, fight through all this water. Alright, so, uh, so now we got a nice path ahead of us. How much tight or, uh, aluminum did I get? Okay, I got tons of it. I don't think we're gonna need all of that. Maybe we will. We'll see. Alright, so let's get back to the base. The base should be, like, right here. And we all ready for the nights. We got a little bit of twilight right now. So that's good. And boom, right in here. Oh, looks like the water dried up too. Happy day. So we don't have to get our feet wet. Okay, let's make one of these things. So this is what well, right, this is devices, weapons, walls, defenses. Oh, that sounds kind of fun. Well, let's go. Oh, auto builder machines. Oh, these all sound really fun. Well, let's look at defenses first. Let's see what the heck that cooked up for us. All right. And wait, this is a machine. Yeah, let's put it like right there. Oh wait, we need that armor in that slot. Darn. Okay, so we'll just replace like the first machine, something like that, and let's put it down like right here. Yeah. And what can we make with this device? Oh, heavy turret, <laughs> damage twenty. That's what I'm. Oh, it, it shoots really slow. Oh, I see. It replaces these little uh, these guys. It replaces those. Could probably put that on the ceiling. Auto re auto repair. Awesome. What's this lightning mine? All right, so now it's getting kind of like tower defense. Death pulse turret, laser turret, and we need, yeah, tons of aluminum. So we might actually move our base underground, and we need a cactus eventually here too. Light crystals, dark energy gem. I know where to find bat ears and the cactus. I think this might be in the red sand area. We could probably make a bunch of these. Oh, and these we get from fish. Oh man, repair turret. That sounds really handy for like a really elaborate base. We don't need to be around to like repair everything all the time. But okay, all right. I'll see you guys next time. We got so much to do, more devices to build.